Hey guys, so if you recall back to Sunday earlier this week, you might have heard about the pretty major fire in New York City. So this was started in a Bronx apartment building by a malfunctioning space heater, um, and it killed 19 people and injured over 60 people at the time of making this video. So obviously that's a really terrible thing. Actually, nine of the people who actually died were children under 16, and it's just really uh, surreal to see that something this major and like this big of a da disaster happened um, in such modern times. Like this is not the 50s, this isn't the 60s. Um, we have all sorts of technology to prevent disasters like this, but somehow it still happened. In this video, we're going to be discussing what happened, why it happened, and how we can prevent something like this from happening again. So just before 11 a.m. on Sunday, a fire broke out in one of the apartment units due to a malfunctioning space heater. The residents of the apartment where the fire started quickly left the apartment after noticing the fire, but they forgot to do one critical thing. Shut the door. Closing the door is an extremely important part of fire evacuation because it stops smoke from spreading, it stops flame from spreading, and it ultimately saves lives. Most commercial buildings actually have fire doors which release automatically when the fire alarm goes off. Remember that smoke is usually the thing that kills people and not the actual flames, and that's why it's important to close the door. So assuming the door was closed, the next thing that should have happened is the fire alarm should have gone off, which it did. So I'm not sure whether it was pulled by someone or it was automatically set off, but either way it did go off and that's a good thing. However, people's responses to this fire alarm were not a good thing. One of the residents who actually escaped writes that he was awakened by a fire alarm, but he dismissed it at first, thinking it was one of the building's periodic false alarms. And then of course, after he actually found out it was a fire, it was too late to escape because of the smoke. Another resident writes that he'd become numb to fire alarms because of frequent false alarms. So this is actually a really common problem pretty much anywhere in the world, because pretty much whenever the fire alarm goes off, people automatically assume that it's a false alarm without actually evacuating because of the sheer volume of false alarms they have. So false alarms are just really dangerous in general. Yes, they waste the fire department's time, and yes, they annoy people. But beyond that, that adds to the idea people have that when the fire alarm goes off, they don't have to evacuate because it's just another false alarm. Imagine you live in an apartment building and the fire alarm goes off once a week for no reason. After like the 30th time of walking down 19 flights of stairs for absolutely no reason and waiting out in the cold or the hot, you're probably not going to want to evacuate the next time the alarm goes off. So even though it is easy for me to sit here and judge these people for not evacuating even though they technically should have, I do have to understand that they are frustrated and false alarms are really common here. So now would probably be a good time to talk about sprinkler systems. Um, so fire sprinklers really are important. They do save lives when they're installed. However, in this building, there probably weren't sprinklers because it's an older building. Lots of older apartment buildings don't have sprinkler heads, unfortunately. Um, but if you had the chance to install sprinklers in your house or your building or whatever for any reason, um, sprinklers are really important and you should install them. Fire extinguishers are also a really important tool. Um, had the fire been noticed really early in the incipient stages and someone used an extinguisher, the fire could have been controlled. However, in this particular situation, by the time the fire was noticed, it was past its incipient stages, so the apartment residents were correct to evacuate the building. Last thing I'd like to talk about today is the importance of emergency lighting. Every single person who escaped that building said the exact same thing. Every person I've spoken to who managed to get out of the building says the same thing, that the smoke made for zero visibility and that they could not have gotten out. Zero visibility, that's right. So a lot of people think that a fire evacuation is just going to be like walking out of the building on a bright sunny day and everything is swell. That is not how fire evacuations work. When there's a real fire, it's going to be smoky and you're not going to be able to see like five inches in front of you. Here's a simulation of a real fire. So yeah, you pretty much just can't see anything. So that's why it's important to have some sort of emergency lighting to light your way. Here's a fire evacuation simulation with emergency lighting. Even though you can't exactly see right in front of you, it is better to have emergency lighting than no emergency lighting, and you can see it's a lot easier to escape this way. So regardless, that's all I really have to say about this. Um, every once in a while, things like this do go wrong, even though they are preventable, 
and hopefully things like this won't happen in the future, and hopefully you did learn something from this video. Um, my condolences do go out to everybody who is affected by this fire. It is truly terrible that something like this would actually happen during such modern times. I mean, something like this hasn't happened in NYC in over 30 years, but hopefully we won't have to, you know, hear about any sort of thing like this ever again. So now I'm just going to review everything we've learned today. First of all, close the door when you're leaving a burning building because that helps stop the spread of smoke and flames. Second of all, when the fire alarm goes off, you should get out of the building. The fire alarm system is in place to tell people to evacuate when there's an emergency. Fire sprinklers do save lives and they should be installed whenever possible. And you should familiarize yourself with the operation of portable fire extinguishers as well as other fire safety procedures so that way in the event of a fire you aren't scrambling around.